Welcome to Calculus 2. Before we get into the material itself, I'd like to start with kind of an overview of what to expect, just so that you have a little bit of a sense from kind of a 10,000 foot view of what we're going to cover this semester. Now most of the terms in this list will not make sense yet, but as we go through and you learn about these topics, you can kind of come back and review and make sure that we're hitting all of these topics. So just to give you an idea of how the course is structured, there are basically four sections. We'll start with applications of integration. And as you're coming out of Calculus 1, you should be somewhat familiar with integrals, at least at a basic level, and what they represent. But we'll review that a little bit before we get started. But I like to start with applications because it gives us a good grounding and a good sense of why we're doing what we're doing. So it gets us started with the why of all of this. And then we'll go into methods of integration. So we'll learn how to calculate slightly more complicated integrals. And this kind of mirrors what you did in Calculus 1, where you learned how to differentiate functions and then how to use that. So you learned both methods and applications of derivatives in Calc 1. And now we're doing kind of the same thing with integrals. We're going to learn the methods and the applications. So it seems like we're doing it a little bit backwards, but it's good to start with applications so that we get a good sense of why we need those methods in the first place. Also, this way, the methods that we'll use as we're doing application problems will stay fairly basic. In other words, we won't do any application problems where you have a hard time setting up the problem and then also the integral itself is complicated. Usually, if the integral is hard to set up, it will turn out to be a fairly simple one to actually calculate. And then in the second section, when we get to calculating integrals, the integrals will be given to you more or less, so there won't be the setup part. So that, that two halves of the problem, setting up an integral and then carrying out the calculation, we'll kind of keep those a little bit separate and we won't combine them too much. Now, before we get into applications, we're actually gonna take two of these methods, U substitution and integration by parts, and we'll cover those first, just so that we have a little bit of a background, a little bit of a foundation, so that if we run into one of those relatively simple integrals, when we're doing applications, we can handle them. And then when we come back to the methods of integration in the second unit, we'll already have a good grounding, so the other methods won't be quite as intimidating. So that's kind of the way it's structured. We'll start with a couple of methods, and then we'll spend most of the time before test one working on applications, and then after test one, we'll come back and review U substitution and integration by parts, and then go on to the other methods of integration. That's kind of the setup. And we'll talk about all these other methods of integration. And then in the second half of the course, we'll do a couple of other topics. One is differential equations, and there's a whole course called differential equations, which you can take after this course, and I hope that you do. Um, differential equations are incredibly applicable. They uh, show up in, in pretty much any field of study, whether it's economics or biology or chemistry or physics or mathematics or engineering. Uh, wherever you end up, if you dig deep enough, you'll find differential equations. So I like to spend a fair amount of time in this course getting a good foundation so that if you go on to take differential equations, you'll be pretty well set up for that. And if you don't go on to take that course, at least you'll have seen a fair amount of material, so you'll have some basic sense of it. And then at the end of the semester, we'll spend a few weeks talking about infinite series. You've seen a little bit of series in Calc 1 if you looked at the Riemann sum, for instance, and we'll build off of that sort of idea and get into infinite series and uh, whether they converge or not, which we'll talk about what that means, and we'll get a good sense of what's going on with infinite series. There's a lot of really interesting stuff there, and it, it kind of digs a little bit deeper and gives a good place to end the semester. So for now, we're going to start with two methods of integration. We'll start with uh, U substitution and integration by parts, and then we'll move on to applications of integration from there.